Oh my god, you guys. Can you see that that is like almost a shiny silver? Wait, wait, wait. Today I am going to be tackling a project I've wanted to do for a while, which is to upgrade my drawers. I got this desk a couple of months ago and it is my dream desk. I'm obsessed with this desk. It's huge, it's massive, it's stately, but it feels a little old fashioned. It's solid as heck. I love it. But the drawers need a little bit of help. I have four missions to do with these drawers. The first is to try and polish the handles. The second is to paint the inside of the drawers. Third is to make some dividers in some of them. And then fourth, I want to grease the bottoms um, with this awesome wax that I have, which I kind of wanted to show in a video because it's such a handy hack for anyone who has furniture like this, um, to make them go in and out a bit more smoothly. I'm excited to share this journey. We'll insert a before shot right now, and I'm excited to undergo this process and make these drawers really, really cool. Let's do it. So it turns out my dad has a bunch of steel brush type things. He's not here, so I can't ask him if these are the right ones to use, but I'm gonna give him a shot just to see if it has any impact. I don't even, uh oh. Okay, well, hmm. It's definitely doing something. It looks a lot cleaner. So everywhere online is saying I should use a polish, which I would agree with. And I feel like my dad definitely has some. Somewhere, I've seen it. Ooh, ooh! Silvo. Metal polish. I'm guessing that's for silver. Okay, I have the other one. Brasso. Which I don't know if it will work. Well, maybe. I thought it was only for brass, but it says it's other ones. I did what all men must do when they don't know where something is. I asked my mom! And of course, she knew. <laughs> I'm gonna start with Brasso. Maybe I should shake it. Okay, that seems like a lot. And on the other side, I'll try the Silvo. I don't know. Nah, that, I don't think that did anything. Rust is coming off, but damn. Oh my god, you guys. Oh my god. <laughs> Can you see that? Can you see that that is like almost a shiny silver? Wait. 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 Whoa. Whoa. Okay. So this, I don't know what this is. I just stole it from my dad. It's working. Okay, I'm gonna try more of this. Okay, I moved the camera way farther away because I got a more powerful drill. Oh my god, this is absurd. This is so exciting. You can totally tell. Oh my god. My big challenge is not getting the wood. Sort of impossible. <laughs> Okay, my god. Wow. Okay, a lot has been learned here in the last little while. I've made some key mistakes. This is bad. <laughs> it's a bit of a tragedy, but that's okay. I've basically, I've just added more work that I didn't need to add. I was hesitant to remove the handles from the drawers because I thought 
it would add a lot of work and maybe I wouldn't be able to put them back on, but I was just messing up the front of the wood and so I was like, no, there must be a better way. I do think I can basically fix this by sanding the wood and stuff. I might have to refinish the front, which is, again, that was dumb. But by removing the drawer pull and drilling it onto a random piece of wood, I've been able to fully attack it and it's perfect. It looks perfect. At the hardware store, I got some pieces of wood that are gonna be for the divisions in here. Uh, so I'm gonna have to measure those guys and cut them out and stuff. But before I do that, I wanna fix the fronts of these because I feel bad about what has happened here this day. They have a lot of like little problems and areas that clearly somebody else has restained them over time as well and stuff has faded, etc. So maybe this will actually be good. It might help to even it all out, but yeah, I really added a lot of work here because I'm gonna do a good job refinishing these babies, but that's okay. I want them to be beautiful. So we're gonna do that now. me struggling and like a mom it's making me wear my wrist braces <laughs> I don't have a stick on paper for the 220 so I'm just gonna go it's pretty soft so I'm not worried about it but I'm gonna go over them with the 220 now slide that good. If they were softer, they probably would slide better. Because looking at the bottoms, they're pretty rough. So I think I'm going to sand the bottoms as well, just the rails. And then I'm going to stain them, unless it starts to rain. <gasps> oh, I'm feeling raindrops. Okay, we're going to quickly sand these and I'm going to take it all inside. And I'm going to take the camera inside. Dear God. <laughs> These are vastly different colors. <laughs> uh, so I will start by mixing. Oh boy. hardware store I saw this little stack of wood and I thought sure <laughs> I really was not picky so now I want to see sort of what it could the layout could be um, very important that I actually make it tall enough for the relevant markers and stuff I wonder it would be really cool to have like a spot for my journal Ooh, I could do that be cool and then something like that <gasps> I don't think I've ever sawed wood before, actually. I've always helped my dad while he does it. Um, but he's not here. So here I did it. I tried doing a handsaw and apparently I was incapable of doing that. <laughs> but I know my dad has a circular saw and a jigsaw amongst others. And so I watched a bunch of YouTube videos and I'm gonna link two of the ones that I found super helpful down below that taught me how to use a jigsaw and a circular saw. I'm gonna just use wood glue to glue these in place. Okay, so I want this journal to fit in here.
I actually only cut one guy for this because I thought maybe I'd just do two little separators like that. Okay, things are coming along well. I am going to leave these to dry for about half an hour. And then I think I'm gonna go ahead and paint the insides. I think it's time. We're close. We're close. <laughs> Okay everyone, we are in the end game and I am so excited about how this project has gone. It is time to reaffix the drawer pulls onto the drawers and so I'm going to do that while I talk through what happened. I am actually glad that I refinished them. Originally I was like, wow, that was really dumb of me to have to now redo the fronts of these drawers, but I'm so glad because they look so much better than they did before. They feel so soft. Today, the 1500 grit sandpaper to finish them off. And my God, they're so soft, smooth. They look shiny, but not too shiny. They just look, they look great. Okay, they look great. <laughs> Whoa. For the drawer pulls, I went out and got some steel wool and I didn't know if it would do much, but I think it was worth it. I feel that it was worth it. It gave them a nice little shine and it just feels like it finished it off and cleaned them off. Uh, it looks amazing. I also went ahead and coated the bottom side of the drawer pulls with just a clear gloss coat because I wasn't gonna like clean it all good and everything. And I thought that that would just make it a little more pleasant for when I'm opening and closing the drawers. I realized that the screws were really rusty and gross. So I thought I'll go to the hardware store. Hardware store was closed. <laughs> Um, and so I looked up online and I saw these videos that said, they said to put your screws in vinegar and to leave them like overnight and it would fix them. And it totally did. They look great. They don't look like brand new, beautiful screws, but they look like they match this thing. So they look like they're a happy family. So that's another thing I've learned how to do now. Last one. Wow. So overall, this project has taken me way longer than I originally imagined. I thought I'd do it in an afternoon and it's been basically a week, but it was totally worth it because these drawers look so, so good. <laughs> I also stained the sides, if you can tell. I didn't do much else to the sides because you, you know you can't really see them un unless you're you're opening the drawer for the for the 30 seconds that you're opening the drawers when you kind of see them but i thought it was worth it to just make all the wood look more cohesive and it was also worth it because i just learned so many things i made a bunch of things up <laughs> like i didn't know if these inserts would work and it totally worked they look awesome and i didn't know if the paint color would look good i thought it would and it does so they look awesome. And now it's time for literally the final step. So if you flip your drawers upside down, if you have this same kind of drawer, this was a hack I learned from another YouTube video. So now it's just a chain of YouTube videos with this hack. So this Howard Feed and Wax Wood Polish and Conditioner Beeswax and Orange Oil. I found it at my hardware store. I thought that my hardware store wouldn't have it because the video I was watching was clearly American, but Canadian hardware stores have it too, apparently. I'm not sure exactly what this product was created for, but it's super good, I guess, at conditioning the wood at, ah, that was way too much. <laughs> if you apply it liberally to the edges of this wood, it makes them open so smoothly. 
So I've done this to a couple other drawers and I'm really excited to do it to this drawer. Well, well, well. Before we go, I do have to thank today's sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community where millions come together to take the next step in their creative journey with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people on topics including illustration, design, writing, video, freelancing, and more. It's curated specifically for learning, meaning there are no ads and they're always launching new premium classes so you can stay focused and follow wherever your creativity takes you. If you enjoyed watching my little woodworking project here, you might enjoy their class, Woodworking for Beginners, by N Briggs. It talks about materials, safety, where to get your wood, how to prepare it, and then how to start carving your own stuff, making a spoon. So the first thousand of my subscribers to click the link down in the description will get their first month for free. Try it out. Try out some woodworking with me. Thank you to everyone who watched. I really enjoyed this journey. I am extremely proud of this situation here. And on to the next project. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.